Today we're going to be doing some more testing on my voice evacuation fire alarm demonstration board and I'm going to show you how it all works. This fire alarm right here, this is the System Sensor L series. It's a newer fire alarm to the market. The strobe on the L series is set on 15 candela, which is the lowest brightness setting available, and the horn is set on Tevril 33K. So that'll sound kind of interesting. Going over here, we have another System Sensor L series, but it is a, it is in its single gang version. And as you can see, I have the custom blue strobe and the evac lettering, and that is wired into this pole station down here. This pole station, it's a blue pole station, so it doesn't mean fire. And this is the SG Series 32AXK2. And I'll be pulling this today and you'll get to see what that does. It's pretty loud, I'll tell you that. And then coming right here we have a speaker. This is kind of something you would see in a PA system, but it will still be wired into fire alarm systems occasionally. This right here is a Siemens SET-CV I speaker and this is a voice evacuation system so when an alarm is pulled this panel this amplifier panel right here will play a pre-recorded fire message through the PA system or in this case it's just a speaker and the horn strobe will also sound the horn strobe is wired into the fire alarm control panel so let's demonstrate that this is what we're going to be testing first this right here is a D 355PL Firelight Duct Detector. And yes, they have special smoke detectors that mount on the sides of air ducts and they will uh, sense the air that moves through the air duct for smoke. Sometimes it picks up dust and accidentally sets off the alarm, but if it thinks it sees smoke, then it will sound the alarm. So that's what we're going to be demonstrating today. Duct detectors, since they're often mounted in hard to reach places, Sometimes we'll have a special key switch called a duct detector key switch. And this allows fire alarm inspectors to easily test the duct detector from a place that is more accessible to them. So in order to test the duct detector, we'll stick the key in, turn it to test, and it'll sound. Usually it takes a few seconds. The light will turn on. There it goes. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. And that was the activation of the fire alarm system. So you can see there's a lot of different noises that was happening. This alarm was sounding and its strobe was flashing. And the voice evacuation system activated which is wired through the speaker so you could hear that there was a pre-recorded message coming on saying that there was a fire emergency in the building to leave the building and not to use the elevators so I really like voice evacuation systems just because they have many features to work the system you saw me use this guy right here this is a fire alarm annunciator and it is basically a mini fire alarm control panel that is wired into the main fire alarm control panel so Firefighters or whoever is going through the building can easily work the system from this little device and not have to be at the fire alarm control panel. In case you know there's a fire between you and the control panel, you can just use the enunciator. So we can't do a system test without pulling something, so we'll go ahead and pull this Firelight VG12LX. Here we go.
Pretty interesting system, isn't it? We can go ahead and reset the enunciator, which will reset the main control panel. The system takes about a minute to reset. And we also can't forget to reset the fire alarm pulse station. All right, time to talk about this blue thing right here. So I have this pulse station wired for general emergencies that are not fire, but still require an evacuation. So when that is pulled, as you can see, the evac strobe will turn on, and the strobe is blue to signal that it's not a fire. And then I also do have a message that will come over the speaker uh, talking about an emergency. So we'll go ahead and do this. And I have the tone on this alarm set to continuous. So this is, this is going to kind of be loud. <laughs> so cover your ears. Here we go. Three, two, one. That was loud, wasn't it? But it was kind of cool. Well, if you enjoyed watching this video, then I encourage you to rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And definitely go check out some of the other videos I have. Have a great day, everyone.